so sorry. Okay, so how to own a wolf dog. So with a wolf dog, uh, they're very territorial, so you don't want to have other dogs or even smaller children around them. They can be really aggressive. The, eh, it needs more nature, like a lot more room to run around, you know, tug of war, do whatever the heck it wants, really, to burn off a lot of its energy because it has. It's a hyper dog. Uh, it goes on instinct, so if you like walk up in a threatening mood or display, it's probably going to attack you. It can be very unpredictable. It's not particularly a good family pet, but it's a really good guard dog. It has a, a lot of, like, um, it's just powerful in general. So wolf dogs mature late. Um, they mature at about two to three years instead of, like, the usual dogs one year. Um, they, they, um, oh, it's like a wolf, so it has to be in a pack, so it can't be alone for very long. Uh, because of its need for a pack, the wolf dog has, it cannot be alone. It hates it, it can, it'll get more aggressive, and it'll become a lot more needy than it needs to be. So a big outdoor kind of run or some old furniture that it recognizes will probably help a lot in the long run, and it'll be a lot more important to that dog. <clears throat> so as a guard dog, the wolf dog... It doesn't like to guard like a house, like a pit bull or a Rottweiler. It likes to guard the individual person as its pack leader. <laughs> so it's, eh, it won't, it'll, it won't be too good at like scaring thieves away. But it, if the thief threatens you personally, it, it'll, it'll attack full on. So barking, it uses barking as a secondary way to express like itself, be it aggressive or kind of playful mood. Um, growling sounds are used kind of liberally when it um, displays what it's like aggressive, what it's feeling. So as for growling, uh, some may sound dangerous and alarming, but it's actually not. It tends, it's just a way of the dog being playful. It'll start growling. It's when it bares its teeth. That means you really need to like back off, like not even joking, back off. So wolf dogs and children, like any child should be born uh, before getting the hybrid uh, wolf dog because it, well, it doesn't see um, wolf dogs as like, well, no, sorry, not wolf dogs, but uh, like babies and kids as like, you know, a prey item or a threat. It, um, it's just harder for the dog, well, wolf dog to adapt to that kind of pack. So kids should be born before getting this dog and the dog should know. And you know, also need to raise your kids when they're growing up. Be respectful to the dog. Don't run up and just start smacking the... Well, just don't smack the dog. That's stupid. Okay, so digging. Wolf dogs love to dig holes. Before their den, I guess you could say, they like to dig out a little cavern for them to sleep in and bring all their food in, pretty much. It's what it's there for. So biting. Wolf dogs use teeth to, like... When they're playing, uh, they don't play like a normal dog, like just a few, like, thrown rag dolls across the house. They like to do it with their teeth, so they'll probably nip you a little bit, but they're not intentionally trying to hurt you. That's just their playing. Their playing is very rough. It's to establish dominance. Okay, so as for weather, wolf dogs love the cold. They love the snow. They love ice, water even. They're more, they're more adapted to the colder climate, so they love it a lot more. And So it, it doesn't need to be like blankets and pillows and all that in a doghouse outside. It'll sleep under a tree just as good as a normal dog will sleep on your couch. Um, although heat is a very big problem, wolf dogs do tend to die from overheating. So it's best that during the summers you literally shave off all of their fur and try to give them as try to have like a small like a pool for them to have so they can if they're too overheated they can just jump in. Um, so as for body language, uh, wolf dogs use a lot of body language consisting of the tail. Um, when the when the tails um when the tails up. It mostly means that it's indicated the wolf. It's like it's a dominant wolf dog. It's um, it's pretty much alpha male or female of that pack. Um, if it's horizontally stiff, like kind of like my like my arm at a ninety degree angle, uh, it indicates that the wolf is going to attack or it's hunting something. Which hunting could be another dog or rabbits, things like that. Uh, the wagging of the tail is a manner that indicates the wolf is more relaxed. It's just. Generally relaxed, it's not in attack mode or anything, but it's it's calm. If the tail looks kind of just like lazy, like it's drooped, kind of like a horse's tail, uh, it's indicated that the wolf is extremely relaxed and that's pretty calm. It's not going to do anything. It's just doing what it does. It's relaxed. Uh, if the if the drooped tail is even more relaxed, like almost almost tucked between the legs, that means the dog's perfectly comfortable. It's perfectly relaxed. 
It's pretty much like a dog just chilling on your couch. It doesn't really care. If the tail is like partially tucked in, it means the wolf is humbling itself around a more dominant wolf as a form of submission. But this may not be a wolf. It can be like you if you're the owner or your son if like they're more assertive and dominant with the wolf dog. A fully tucked tail uh, under in between the legs is like it's it's fearful. It's scared. It's going to want to run away. Um, yes. And um, it's suggested that you have at least... 1600 square yards of uh, footing for this dog to run around. When this dog runs around, you're going to be like, it's going to be a very hyperactive dog. Try to take it on runs, things like that. That's pretty much all you need to know for um, how to own a wolf dog. Um, if you want to know more information on like, what body postures or what it's trying to, um, I guess you could say, um, express itself to you, go to www.timberwolfinformation.org. Um, there's a lot of information on there, and if you go there, once you learn the wolf, you'll learn the dog.